Turning Booleans into checkboxes is one of the easiest way to save users clicks and boost the user experience in Dynamics. Today, we are gonna talk about how we can turn your form from this to this. Let's talk about how we can add the checkbox control to your forms and two important nuances you need to know. Look, I'm sorry Microsoft, but Booleans on forms has to be one of the ugliest, maybe I shouldn't say ugly, I'll say least pretty. Booleans in Dynamics have to be one of the least prettiest fields on the forms in Dynamics. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to give these fields a huge facelift and save users clicks, which ultimately is what a lot of businesses want. As always, you're gonna go ahead and navigate to the Power Apps Maker Portal. Now we are looking to add these checkbox fields onto our account main form, so go ahead and find your table and then find your form. As always, quick call out, make sure you're doing this in a solution. And now for today's example, we are gonna to go to the account form and look to change all of these contact preference booleans into checkboxes. Under the details tab here, you can see all the fields that I'm referring to. Now there are a couple of ways to add this control and the most beginner friendly way is gonna be going to the components button in the ribbon in the top left, then opening up the input section and finding the checkbox control. Now go ahead and drag and drop this control wherever on the form you would like it to be and then go ahead and select the field that you would like this control to sit on. I'm gonna go ahead and add a toggle to all five of these fields here. If it's not obvious, you can only add these checkboxes to Booleans. You cannot put these on global option sets, local option sets, etc. Now to make the form a little cleaner, I'm gonna go ahead and update the names of my controlled fields to match the non-controlled fields and then remove the non-controlled fields. I am gonna leave this last mail field here just so in the user experience when we're using the checkbox, you can see how it actually interacts with the data. Now there are still two nuances to mention when using these checkboxes, but more on this in just a moment. Once your form is good to go, go ahead and hit save and publish in the top right. While this is publishing, I just wanna say thank you for sticking this far into the video. If you find this video insightful or educational or entertaining or a distraction from work, feel free to like and share this video. Sharing the video is the best possible way to support me and I would love to connect with you either on YouTube or another platform like LinkedIn. Okay, we are done publishing. Let's go ahead and look at an account record in Dynamics. You can see that all of these option sets have now been updated to checkboxes. This is gonna save your users clicks and in my opinion, it just looks way cleaner. The first nuance to keep in mind is that using these checkboxes is going to update these fields in real time. You can see here as I select the mail checkbox, the mail boolean field updates accordingly. Now I think this is a good thing, but I just wanna call it out in case you have any workflows, logic, or script on these fields. It's important for you to know that these controls interact with them in this way. The second thing to keep in mind is that when you are using these checkboxes, that checking it is going to set it to the second option in the boolean or the option with a value of one. What does this mean? It just means that checking the box sets the value of the Boolean to one and unchecking it sets the value to zero. So conceptually in this example, it currently doesn't make a ton of sense to say check next to the emails field when that actually means don't allow emails. So there's two options that you can do to fix this. The first option is gonna be updating the display name on the form. I would recommend changing this to something like do not allow emails, so then that way, when you read that and it's checked, you're saying yes, do not allow emails. Or the other option you could do is actually switch the labels in the Boolean, but I would not necessarily recommend this because if this is a Boolean that already has existing data, then you're gonna be effectively ruining all of it. But if this is a new Boolean, then I would honestly recommend doing that. So you now have a checkbox control on your form, but there is still something you should do to boost the user interface or the user experience on your forms in Dynamics. Be sure to check out this playlist here to see how you can add the other controls onto your forms today. Thank you guys for seeing the end of the video. My name is Griffin Lickfeld, the host of Citizen Developer, and I'm excited to connect with you guys in the next one.